Top of the morning to you. It's Tuesday. The national security agency is going to go up to Capitol Hill. Hit me with your best shot. Unauthorized disclosures of classified information have resulted in considerable debate fueled by incomplete and inaccurate information. They're monitoring our calls and monitoring our emails, and we don't like it. Is the NSA have the ability to listen to Americans' phone calls or read their emails? No, they cannot and have not. Does the technology exist at the NSA to flip a switch, to listen to Americans' phone calls, or read their emails? No. We need the answers. Can an NSA analyst listen yes or no? This authority does not, therefore, allow the government to listen in on anyone's telephone call, even that of a terrorist. That's an important point. We can't make enough. Is NSA spying, or have you spied on American citizens? We do not. Does the NSA listen to the phone calls of American citizens? We do not. Does the NSA read the emails of American citizens? Same answer, ma'am. Does the NSA read the text messages of American citizens? Again, we do not. Does the government have a database with video data in it tracking movements of the American people? No, ma'am. Do you have recordings of all of our calls? We're not allowed to do that, nor do we do that. Investigating terrorism is not an exact science. You know, the big question is, do you trust the government? Oh, look at that ready position. Uh-oh. If the IRS targeted conservatives, what's to stop the NSA from doing the same? Come to Papa. Oh, well, we wonder about that. Final question. What's next for Mr. Snowden? Justice. Everybody.